lot of people say, well, what am I going to say? What do I put if I'm blogging? What do I blog about? If I'm updating LinkedIn, what do I update it about? So there are tons of things. And I can actually send you a list of 50 things you can be doing on social media, 50 things you can be doing in a blog. But it really comes down to when you answer the phone and somebody has a question, what is it? Do you answer it? Of course. What do you say? Blog about it. So if somebody always calls you up and says, how much is our website? I can tell you the answer to that, and I can put it in my blog because I know that is such a standard. Another standard question is, what's the process you're going to go through? What's the timelines we look at? Do you collaborate? So I can do a blog about collaborating on a website, scheduling in a website into your daily life so that you can create this new project. All those questions that you're getting when you answer your phone, you can blog about them. If you don't have enough to say, you can just Twitter about them because Twitter is like a microblog. It's like a headline with nothing else. So <laughs> for the people that are truly ADD, that headline comes in, they're sort of up to date, there's a sound bite, and they can move on. If you've got more to say, you can actually link that Twitter update to your website as well. So if you've got a new program you want to talk about, but you say, I'm not going to write a blog about a new program that I just added, I had to put 12 words onto my website, there's no way I'm putting 250 into a blog entry, you can go onto Twitter and update that with that simple little 140 maximum characters, link it back to your site.